Welcome to the HAB, trainees. Your nine month journey to Mars is complete. And now it's time to actually live and thrive there. The HAB will be your home sweet home during your time on the red planet. On the deck, you'll find your bathroom, your science lab, greenhouse, and work area. I'm totally having a major pilot motor reflex. <laughs> I'm experiencing serious tachypnea. <laughs> Jeez, if you two need a doctor. Oh, come on, Zach. I'm sure you got him too. It's contagious gross. It's goosebumps, Zach. In my case, rapid breathing. This is all so exciting. Hey, I was just playing, but the Zach Meister is used to generating goosebumps and heart palpitations. So where's old Gordon? Don't tell me he's missing our little sleepover tonight. Gordon took responsibility for the incident resulting in the broken airlock glass. He's voluntarily left the program. Uh, ma'am, speaking of the overnight, where are we gonna be sleeping? Your quarters are against the wall. A bit tight, but cozy. Oh boy. Man, I'm glad I'm not claustrophobic. Oh boy. I still don't understand why we're doing this. I don't either. I'm mad at Adrian, Adrian's mad at me. End of story. Just keep painting what you're feeling. Cause here's the deal. Art is more than pretty colors. It can help you process emotions, even resolve conflicts when you can't find the right words. Okay, paintbrushes down. Looks like we have similar themes at work here. We do? For starters, you both stayed inside the border. Nothing messy. Usually means a need for perfection. Hey, even stick figures have to be precise. Speaking of figures, you both drew more than one. That's my familia. Colorful and grande. Mine too. The two big ones are my older brothers and the little one's me. You both painted at the bottom of the canvas. Usually a sign of insecurity, but I think we can all agree that you two are the poster girls for confidence. <sighs> Not always. My papa is a respected diplomat around the world. My mama is fluent in six languages. And my abuela created Cafe Adams from nothing. Sometimes I wonder if I have what it takes to live up to their standard of excelencia. I can totally relate. Both of my brothers are freakishly accomplished. I'm always trying to do something crazy awesome so I don't live in the ginormous shadows. Sounds exhausting. It is. Sometimes trying to be perfect makes me do local things, like losing it over a fallen souffle and pushing one of my best friends away. And sometimes when I feel like I failed at something, like letting down my best friend, I kind of get uptight and just walk away. I'm sorry, Bryden. Hey, look at that. Your time's up. Not exactly the local hotspot I was expecting. Well, sorry there's no velvet footstools or funny court jesters to entertain you. Well, I was half wrong. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some life and death matters to tend to. Meaning your life. Right, I got that. Hi, this is my house, Bride and Vandeweth. We met at the training facility a while back. You remember, right? Or maybe not, I don't know. And now I'm just wasting a little time you have left here. If only I could control all the loot myself. Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Adams. Growing up in Spain, I traveled to London all the time. I love everything British, except the food. Terribly bland. Rubbish. Exactly! It does taste like garbage! Who cares about food when we could be discussing the spacecraft's thrust-to-weight ratio? Happen to know what that is? All I know is they're going to blast me into the sky. <gasps> where I'll finish my most epic Snapchat story, and then they'll bring me back down to Earth. Bringing you back down to Earth would be a good thing. I mean, because everyone will miss you so much down here. So, is there anything exciting to do around here? Duh, hello! I know how we can entertain you and use cutting edge technology. Ever see someone play a banana like a piano? No, but it sounds awesome. Adrian. 
Agent McAllister, Innovate has uncovered information regarding the Prince's flight trajectory. What? What's that noise? Are you having a party? And you didn't invite me? It's not a party, Addison. It's a <laughs> banana piano lesson. Musical bananas! Amazing! Jillian, you've got to see this! You have new info? Yes. Our completed projection of the Spaceflight Index shows that, at its peak, the Princess capsule will come in close proximity to a U.S. government cybersecurity satellite. A government satellite? What could that have to do with the threats? I am Bravo! Bravo! Now, if you could please play a quieter fruit. We're running out of time and I need to concentrate. Ah, oh, Em, while I appreciate the cheeky spy girl vibe, I'm safe now. So why don't you join in the fun and... Give it a rest. Give it a rest? I would, but I care about saving people's lives, like yours. In fact, I dedicate my own life to studying everything from comparative science to covert operations to investigative methodology to anthropology, not the store, to microbiology to criminology to psychology to pretty much every other ology you could think of. I'm smart. Get over it. That was a good speech, but not quite applause-worthy. What are these people doing here? Beats me. I only tweeted that I was hanging out with a big-time celeb. I never said who it was or where. Innovate lesson number two. You never post from the safe house, because then it isn't, you know, safe. These lessons make so much sense. Can I? No, you can't tweet it. Oh, no. What is it? That's that car again, isn't it? Addison, our location's been compromised. I need you to locate an actual Innovate safe house where no one can find us. For you, or for you and those girls? Now, Addison. Her notebook talks. Pretty slick, huh? He's reaching for something. We should bounce. <laughs> They're right, so we need to get out of here immediately. Intel and the port security vulnerabilities. You two look inside the warehouse and I'll do recon around the perimeter. Recon? Intel? Perimeter? There's so much mysterious lingo, it's practically another language. <laughs> hey! Get a move on, sailor! He's not a sailor. I'm improvising on the not thing. I like it. Those bananas need to be exposed to ethylene, caballeros. Maybe you can get them to the ripening room? Sometime today? Did you know the banana plant is the largest herbaceous flowering plant? Often, often mistaken for trees? trees. Oh, look at us! Bonding over bananas! <laughs> Grandfather was a marine compass? No, I didn't. But right now I need to send these pictures to Bri. Consider it done. <sighs> Exposed from the dock. I'll text Michaela that we'll download them and begin cross-checking the photos with those in the Innovate database. Adri, anything to report? Interior of the warehouse secure. No hidden doors or passages. I have engaged the virtual reality glass and now have a three-dimensional image of the docks. There are some security weaknesses. We'll need two guards stationed by the main warehouse entrance and two in the back. And a guard dog! Not that kind of guard dog. How about a peek at these? It's ferociously a nerve! Let's just stick to the human guards. So we still don't know how all the other guards got taken out? This morning, I tested hair strands from the knocked out guards. 
even double check for chloroform or evidence of something the guards may have ingested. Nada. Whatever knocked out those guards still remains a mystery. Thanks, Adri. Where's Ember? She's not there. I sent her back outside to help you. On my way. It's a message from Ember. Well, what does it say? She could be in trouble. Um, I don't know. It's in code. Hold this. I decode it. At snack bar, testing out new decoder ring. Who is hungry? Ooh, tell her I want a big pretzel. That's it. Maddie always said if I was in trouble to send a message. We had our own code. And if it was important, I'd add a unicorn. It was like our inside joke. So how will you get this unicorn note to her? We don't know where she is. Cyberspace does. Addison. Unicorn gazebo heart emoji. 10 o'clock, that should do it. 